Ghana police. Open the fuck up. And I'm like, my police, that's crazy. Hey guys welcome back to my channel it's me jay and i'm back again with another video if you are new here or even a return subscriber thank you so much for tuning into my video i really do appreciate it if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe to my channel i do post new videos every wednesday and saturday i'm saying that so it forces me to be as consistent as i've been this far um but i'm gonna go ahead and get right into the video i don't want to waste y'all's time and you may be wondering where is she getting ready to go to to go and take a picture that's literally it <laughs> i have nowhere to go so whilst i'm doing this let me let me set the scene for you guys right just so everything makes a lot more sense so this is freshman year i had just gone to uh ucf which is in orlando right um the apartment building that i lived in an off-campus student housing uh complex but it wasn't just like off-campus student housing it was ucf affiliated and i didn't realize exactly what that meant until a, I moved in and B, this whole situation happened, right? So uh, basically, just so you know, with off-campus housing, at least in the US, I'm not sure about other places, like other countries, um, off-campus student housing, usually you don't have RAs. Like you don't have RAs. It's like living in just a regular apartment complex. The only difference is usually your rent and your utilities are bundled into one thing. You don't have to pay the stuff separately. And nine times out of 10, everybody living in the apartment complex is gonna be students as well, right? So the place that I lived in had two buildings. There was one main building, and then there was the building that I lived in, which was built after the main one, and it was kind of like a secondary building, right? So our building had seven floors, and I lived in the seventh floor. I lived in a four bedroom, four bathroom apartment with three other girls. And I was cool with all of my roommates, but I was particularly cool with this girl, KT. Because KT is someone who, she's very friendly, very outgoing, you know. So, <laughs> yeah. So basically, I knew other people in the apartment complex because of her. Not because I went out of my way and made friends because I was still very shy. And even now, like, I'm not someone who will just walk up to people and just like start making conversation. Like, I've never been able to do that and I don't know if I ever will. So anyways, we were friends with a bunch of people who lived in our building, especially on our floor, as well as other people in the building as well. So how we ended up at this party, we knew these guys and the way that we met them is because our apartment used to face out over the sand volleyball courts and over the um, like kind of look onto the parking garage. Basically, if you were standing in our living room or any of our bedrooms, you could see onto the parking garage and you could see into other apartments, right? I don't remember how we met them. I don't know if this was the group of people that we met because we were, me and KT were like, you know, just dancing in the living room and someone saw us and waved at us. Or if we actually ran into them or she met them by herself, I don't actually remember. Or if we met them through other people. But anyways, we became friends with these two guys. The one boy's name I know was Chris. The other boy, I forget what his name was. I think his name was Peyton. I don't remember. But, um, and I don't even remember how we got invited to the party. I don't know if she bumped into them and they invited her or I bumped into them and they invited us or they texted one of us. I don't actually like, I don't remember. Like I don't remember and it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter. Anyways, they, we got invited to their football watch party. Now bear in mind, this was, during thanksgiving break well the beginning of thanksgiving break so it was the day before the break was starting so the following day no one had classes most people had actually left that afternoon or that morning to go back home to spend thanksgiving week with their families right cool 
keep just keep all of this information in your mind so their apartment was directly across from ours like if you were standing in our living room you would look out and you could see right into their apartment because they were on the sixth floor which is the top floor in the main building because we were in the second building right cool they invited us to this party and the people that ended up going like that I knew obviously were the owners of the apartment, a bunch of people that we knew from the seventh floor and some people from the sixth floor on our building, right? And then one other girl that KT, at the time she was KT's friend, this girl, we'll call her M, right? She ended up coming with us. Cool beans. So I want you to know that we got to this party at like, I want to say maybe an hour to an hour and a half after the start time that they told us, right? So we left our apartment and like I said, we were across from them via the parking garage. So you could walk out of our building onto the parking garage and open the door and be in their hallway, right? Which is the way that we went. It was the easiest, the fastest way to do it. Cool beans. So we get to the parking garage door and from the parking garage door, you can kind of hear like muffled noise, like people's voices, a little bit of music whatever when we opened the door into their hallway i'm like oh my god like this is so loud like, this is probably crazy in there and when we walked in people were already like drunk i'm not even gonna cap to you like, people were already drunk and i'm like it's been an hour an hour and a half like and it's a football watch party i didn't know what to expect because again i've never been to a college party before people are already drunk leaning against the doll doorways talking super loudly you know the works associated with college parties so anyways <laughs> we get inside the apartment say hi to the people whatever we're mixing we're mingling it's fine the girl that we came with m she decided she didn't want to stay anymore because it wasn't really her scene she wasn't really feeling it and to be honest it wasn't the type of party that i would if i had known what it was gonna be like i may not have gone um, but I decided, you know what, I may as well stay so I can, you know, mix and mingle, meet people, blah, 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 cool beans. Um, this girl, M leaves along with like maybe three other girls that we knew, um, from the building because their one friend was like really, really drunk and she needed to absolutely just go home and, you know, call it a night. Cool. So they leave and about, I want to say... 20 minutes later. Bah, 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 bah. Open up, police! And I'm like, my police, that's crazy. Obviously, everyone is thinking the same thing, like, oh, it must be one of the guy's friends who left and has come back and is, you know, trying to play us because what the hell, police? What are you talking about, bro? Because I need you guys to understand, it was maybe 11.30, right? And this is, was it even, it was probably, yeah, it was probably like 11.30. So usually noise complaints, I think you can file them at 11. But this is like the top floor of a student building. Like a student, college student, a co uh, I cannot speak. College student apartment building, right? That's number one. Two is the beginning of Thanksgiving break. Nobody is even here and most people don't have class not most people no one had class the following day most people had gone home so where i was sitting on the ledge in the living room like on the in the kitchen like on the kitchen counter and kt if i remember correctly happened to be the one closest to the door so we so she goes shh, 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 shh. turn the music off right and she looks through the peephole and she's like ayo it's really the cops when i tell you People scattered like roaches when you turn the lights on. Like people run like all over the place. People run into Chris's room. People run into Peyton's room, under the bed, into his closet, trying to like cram themselves into the shower, trying to hide under the bathroom sink, like all of that, right? And my, I, I need you to bear in mind, obviously, the walls are thin. They can, the cops and the RA can hear what's going on in the apartment because, like, this is a bunch of drunk people. They don't realize how loud they actually are. So, you know, they hide 
we finally opened the door i'm thinking you know whatever i'm home free anyways like i wasn't drinking i'm not drunk they should really just you know let me go <laughs> boy oh boy was i wrong Bravo. so we open the door and in walks in our ra so she walks in and she's with two cops i need you guys to understand that this was not ucf on campus police this was ovido police police you're a Jesus, caught me, help me. Okay, like the actual, the feds, like the actual cops. The cop then says, I know you guys are hiding. I need you guys to come out because I don't want to have to come in there and look for you. Obviously, people ignore him. So he, they start going room, like into the bedrooms, opening cabinets, looking under the bed, telling people to come out, blah, 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 blah. Mind you, any surface that was in the living room and the kitchen, a flat surface, had beer bottles all over the place. Like there was no way we could hide that, you know, this people were drinking at this party. Like they could not have hid it if they tried. You get what I'm saying? It would have been one thing if there were no bottles around and people just drunk. Dudes could have claimed, oh, they showed up drunk. You get me? But the alcohol is like all over the place. I realize that I look insane right now, but I promise it's gonna make sense in a little bit. But anyways, it's, you know, it's looking real crazy for the apartment owners and the people that were drinking. The cop then says, um, I need you guys to make two separate lines. Everyone who is 21 in one line, 21 plus, and everyone who's under 21 on the other side. <laughs> KT was the only person who was 21 in this entire apartment. And there were at least, I want to say, 35 40 of us in this apartment she was the only person who was over the age of 21. the cop then says all right cool and on top of that i need you all to take out your ucf ids i'm like um sir okay like i'm not drunk like can i go home and he's like nah take out your id at this point i'm like oh shit like this is real. I don't know what's about to happen. I'm like a little scared. I'm like, you know, they're probably just gonna give us a warning and send us on our way, right? So he checks my ID. He can tell I'm not drunk at all. And he's like, were you drinking? And I was like, no, like I don't even drink. And this was true. I had only had like alcohol once before that at like a housewarming party, which if they had showed up to that party, which was in the same apartment building, and they had been there out of garden trouble that time, but what we'll address that a separate day. So he takes out my name, takes out my UCF ID, and he's like, you know, you know you shouldn't be at these parties. Do your parents know? And I was like, Yeah, my mom knows where I am, and she did. Like that was the truth. Like I told her that I was going to like a football watch party, blah 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 blah, right? Mm, <laughs> cool. So we leave the party. And I don't remember if they said anything else to us, but I was like closer to the front of the line because with Katie, they're like, oh, you're over 21. It's fine. You're free to go. She was waiting for me to be told I'm free to go, right? Since I was part of the underagers. Because at the time I had just turned 20, like a month before. It's not like I was turning 21 in a couple months like this. I was literally 11 months from turning 21. So we go back to our apartment and we we're telling our friends, my mom at this time was asleep, so I was like, eh, I'll tell her tomorrow morning, like what went down, blah, 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 right? So I want you to know this was Thanksgiving break. I had kind of forgotten about it. And like, it was like, you know, I went home, nothing happened. The end of November it comes around first week of December comes around and I'm like, okay, whatever So it was just like a scare tactic Whatever the next day I wake up because I used to have morning classes, but I remember on Thursdays I didn't have class until like 11 So I would usually wake up at like 9 45 be out of the house by 10 30 and the shuttle was like It would run every 10 minutes and I'll be on campus in five minutes, right? cool i wake up and i have a missed call talking about oh this is the office of the department of housing and residence life and we're calling in conjunction with the office of student conduct i'm like <laughs> student conduct like <laughs> what is going on like what are they talking about 
um we tried to call you please check your email and then get back to us if you have any questions i'm like check my email like what is happening right i checked my email and i have an email it was a generic thing that said oh you've you've got a letter from the department of student of student life and housing or whatever and the office of student conduct blah 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 and i'm like what the hell you can access this letter by following this link enter in your student id and the access code listed below you will have access to this letter for you know 30 days make sure to print it out for your records blah 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 blah, blah. And i'm like what is going on like what are these people talking about right I'm like i'm like confused like i'm genuinely confused because i'm like i don't even know what is going on so i don't have the letter anymore because this was six years ago i did not keep it but uh basically the letter was saying talking about oh you attended a party in such and such person's apartment on such and such a day at such and such time you are underage you're consuming alcohol now remember how i told you this was off-campus student housing but it was school affiliated and how that was important i did not realize until i got this email that because it was student off-campus student housing but it was school affiliated technically it was like school property so us being on camp us, us being in that apartment and drinking was kind of like us having a party in on-campus student housing which you're not allowed to do that let alone with alcoholic beverages and all of you are underage oh boy and i had to go and meet with this lady i forget i think she worked she was like a, a office of student conduct like she was like a liaison of some kind i had to go for a meeting with her to discuss what was going to be done and this was going to be on my student record for the next year if i didn't fulfill the requirements at this point i'm freaking out and i call my mom and i tell her and she's like well just go see the lady and see what she says i was freaking out so so hard it was like it was ridiculous because i'm thinking to myself geez like they're really going od because we were at a party one two i wasn't even drinking like i did not even have a single alcoholic beverage so why am i getting into this much trouble like nothing is making sense i'm like tripping 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 i go for the meeting with this lady and in summary this is what they had me do i had to write an essay expressing that i understood that what i did was wrong it was like a one i think it was like one page or two pages i don't remember to express that i understood that i should not have been in you know student apartments drinking let alone underage drinking the whole time i'm thinking what the hell like i didn't have i should have had a beer for all my troubles because i didn't right and you know i had to write this essay and do all of that and then i had to go for a meeting and i don't want to say it was an alcoholics anonymous meeting because that's not what it was but it was like kind of like oh like to prevent college age kids from drinking right now you would think that because i wasn't drunk or because i didn't even have not one single beer touch my lips i don't drink beer first of all let's talk about that but i had to go for this meeting and i think i had to go for two of them and like at the thing um basically there was a counselor there like this was through ucf counseling services but like they were not playing with us and we were talking about the dangers of underage drinking and like talking about how you shouldn't be drinking but if you are the safety measures to take and like all this other junk and i remember just thinking to myself like this is overkill especially because i did not have a drink simply because i was in a room with a bunch of other people and there was alcohol there all of a sudden i have to take this class i remember though the owners of the apartment both of them were under 21 so now the cops were like hey but who bought the alcohol because it couldn't have been either one of you because neither one of you is over the age of 21 so who bought the alcohol and i remember just thinking to myself my mom laughed it off like she wasn't even mad at me because she was like dude like it's college it happens like people are there to have fun to meet new people that's how you do it and i just remember thinking to myself like preventing people from drinking in the safety of their dorms or like having little get-togethers like that in the safety of their dorms is not going to stop people from drinking all it is going to do is make people move their drinking to actual off-campus student housing go to bars go to pubs like that is all that it's gonna do and 
you haven't done anything. I understand that like obviously underage drinking is like a really serious thing in colleges and it leads to a lot of like bad things happening, really bad situations. But I just thought like for me personally and even for the, I remember there were like a couple of the people there who didn't drink and the same thing happened to them. Like they all had to write an essay. We all had to take this alcoholics class or drinking class or safety. I forget what it was titled exactly. But I just remember thinking to myself, I'm never going to get together in student housing. And I never did. Like after that, anytime I went to a get together, it was either like at a house house or why is this lash falling apart like that? Or it was one of those where it's like, we're actually going, you know, we're going out to a bar or going out to a pub, like whatever the case may be. It just isn't like on campus. You get me? And it was just like, it was the most ridiculous, like it was the most ridiculous thing I've ever been through in my entire life. Um, but yeah, kids, that's what happened to me. And this happened like in the first two months of me being in college. And I remember thinking, well, my, just, just my luck, just my freaking luck. But yeah, that's the story about how I was at a party and the cops showed up and you know, had a scattering like a bunch of roaches that she was stupid. But yeah, you guys let me know if you enjoy these silly little story times. Obviously they're not as elaborate as other people's story times, but I thought it would be just interesting to do something different. But basically, yeah, that just taught me, don't go to college parties on campus. If you're about to be a freshman or you're in school, don't go to these on-campus parties, just go to like some non-school affiliated parties and have some fun because that thing was really on my academic record for like a year. Like it really was on there for a year. It showed and it read as, uh, I think it was like a golden rule violation, which I was like, that's crazy. But anyways, let me know if you guys enjoy these kind of short little get ready with me story time type situations. If you do, I will be sure to make another one. Uh, let me know if you've had an experience like that on campus before at your school. And I will see you guys on the next one.